Hey guys, Cruxel. Here's a no bullshit guide to the rapper Bones. Also referred to as Uncle Ricky or Elmo, Bones is one of the biggest names in underground hip hop right now, as you know. Him and fellow producers create music under the group name Team Sesh, and all of it is free. And since late 2014, I've been a huge fan of him, and he's since probably become my favorite artist. I figured this would be a great way to start a new series I want to make, and it helps you guys get into artists that are a little lesser known, but they create great music. And what I found with a lot of these guys when I was getting into them is it's kind of daunting at first because some of them have huge discographies, you don't really know where to start, so hopefully this will help you out. Uh, and also this format may change in the future, but for the time being I'm going to show you a few snippets of some key songs that showcase the artist's varying styles, and from there I will help show you some projects or songs you should check out if you enjoyed those certain snippets. I'll also go over some of my favorite and least favorite work from the artist, and this is of course all my own opinion, so make sure you fucking obliterate me for my poor taste in the comments. With an artist like Bones, it really is unfair to group his work into four categories, but for the sake of keeping this video a reasonable length, I'm gonna have to attempt it. Um, but he really does have such a wide range of work that you won't get a full taste of what he's capable of until you've been bumping him for a while. And the four categories we're going to be dividing his work into today are his softer stuff, the kind of harder tracks, and his new and old. Without further ado, let's get into it. See all the females love me, so all the boyfriends say me, hey, she'd rather be with bones, when you take her ass on dates, hey, she keep calling my phone, she hate that she got away. His hair was a lot shorter, his voice was a lot higher, and he talked about bitches way more than he does nowadays. But if you really like old school style flows and slow, almost G-Funk-esque beats, then this is the bones you should definitely start with. In my opinion, he still did not really find his style during this era of his career, and it's still a little too disoriented and incohesive for me to really fuck with too heavy. But regardless, pretty much anything he released under the name That Kid or projects before mid-2013 like Living Legend, One Million Blunts, or his self-titled projects will suit your taste very well if you like this kind of stuff. This is the least in-depth section I will be going over in this list because like I said, I'm honestly not too into Early Bones, so I've never ever delved too deep into those projects for the most part. Up next though, we have New Bones, and to showcase that side of him, we have a snippet from the song Black Mold off his project titled Pig Programming 2. I feel like this track really encapsulates perfectly the direction that Bone seems to be heading with his music. Team Sesh producers have always brought super eclectic beats to the table, but recently Elmo's beat choice has gotten more and more out there and different from his past work. He also continues to get more technical in his flows and delivery. If you really fuck with this style, then you should check out Good For Nothing, which was released in late 2016 and features a lot of new flows and beat choices for Bones. Great tracks to check out are first are Owen, Cut To The Chase, and Sterilized, which is my favorite from the album. Another great project you should check out if you dig this sound is Paid Programming 2. I feel like this album is his most successful execution of this new style that he's done yet, and everything feels really different but at the same time fine-tuned and really, really well done. This project is huge, but tracks you should check out are Rocks, Biodegradable, Non-Pasteurized, Maggots, your music sucks and you look like a dickhead, Tears of an Eagle, and my favorite track from the project, The Curse of the Ghost. This is also one of Bone's most cohesive work to date, and whether or not you like his chill or hard tracks, you should definitely check it out. Lastly in the category of New Bones, you should definitely give his newest project Disgrace a listen. In my eyes, this is his best short project since Useless, and it really is a good amalgamation of what makes his older tracks so classic and great, while still bringing that new sound and technicality to the table. Shining tracks for me on this project included Branches, Eye for an Eye, Do Not Disturb, Skeleton Man, and my personal favorite, Bedford Falls. Shout out to Into Wonderful Life, fucking love that movie. Now we're going to try and divide Bones' discography into one of two categories. Relaxed and chill, somewhat ambient stuff, and his hard, aggressive, fuck you and your music stuff, which I love equally. Now these will be a mix of newer and older albums, just so you know. Up first here is a clip from Espadrilles off of his album Banshee, which is a great introduction into some of his more chill, relaxed music. Don't 
Banshee as a whole is actually one of my favorite Bones projects and filled with relaxing tracks and a good mix of some hard shit in there as well. Uh, if you dug the sound that Espiel Drills had, you should enjoy tracks such as The Difference Between Us, Waiting by the Planner, Looking for This, Moss on Brick, and my personal favorite, Mr. Tembelo. If you enjoy soft production from Grief and the rest of the Sess team, you should definitely check out Powder as well, which is one of Elmo's biggest projects. It's chock full of soothing tracks and I honestly slept on this project for the longest time, but it's now one of my favorites. Tracks you should check out include The Healing Fields, It All Comes Together in the Final Act, Modest Goals, Just Another Day at the Office, Come Listen to the Shit I Found My Uncle's Old Walkman, I Thought You Looked Familiar, Hello Friend, That Stuff Will Kill Ya, Try to Stay in the Frame This Time, and my favorite track by Offany featuring Roz Dilliams, which I will be making a guide for very soon. Yes, I listed pretty much the whole project here, but it is really that fucking good and you should check it out if you like Bones' softer stuff. Another project that should get some attention in this aspect is Useless. It's literally half soft songs and half gut-wrenchingly hard songs, but if you can't tell, I love it, and it's probably my favorite small project of his. Songs on here to check out if you really want some chill stuff are Useless, Keep Telling Yourself That, Tempo, Soil, and my personal favorite, Translucent, which is a slow burn, but in my opinion, the most atmospheric track Bones has ever done. Curtis Heron really killed the production on that track. And last but not least for the softer side of Bones is a criminally underrated project. I never see it mentioned and it's one of the most impactful albums I've ever listened to in my life. The album is Songs That Remind You of Home and it's a collab project with Ross Dilliams who at the time went by Dylan Ross. You honestly should just take my fucking word for it and listen to the whole project, but in terms of great tracks you should check out Dance Petunia Dance, Rejection Letter, Sharon Tate, One Tree Hill, That's the Face We Make When You Really Lose Something, and one of my top 5 songs of all time, The Ivy. In our last branch for today we have the Harder Bones songs. A great example of this side of his work is Rest in Peace off of his project Useless. Out of the city boy, I came up from the gritty Tell his parents that we let his body somewhere where it's chilly I don't hail from a place where you go to be great I'm the creep from the motherfucking first day of late I never thought I'd live to see All these fucking dreams are The first album I'm recommending to you if you like his harder stuff is Garbage. It's the album where in my opinion Elmo really found his sound and it's the first project I ever fully listened to from him. It's been one of my favorites ever since and songs you should check out from it are Return of the Pimp, My Favorite Color is Rain, Lynx's Broadband Router, Trash featuring Xavier Wolf, Coderoy, .exe, and my favorite Butterfly. You should also be checking out Skinny, which like many of his projects has a very good balance of hard and chill tracks, but key tracks you should check out if you like his harder style are White Punk on Dope, Hair Hang Down, The Noise Inside My Head, Shrimp Pizza, USB, and my favorite hard track from the album, Dead in Designer Clothes. The third suggestion for this style of work from Bones is Paid Programming 2, which I listed before. It's the second time it's hit my list this video, but in my opinion as a whole it was much darker than the original Paid Programming, so it had to be mentioned. Nice tracks on here if you like bangers are Biodegradable, P.D. Pablo, Maggots, and once again my favorite, The Curse of the Ghost. The Hermit of East Grand River is another project that you should peep if you like Bones' darker stuff, and tracks like What Was That, Funny to See You Here, I Think There's Something in the Radiator, and my favorite, The Art of Cremation, are all very macabre and I absolutely love this project. Pretty short as well compared to the other harder albums listed before it, so if you're unsure of if you like this style, definitely check out these tracks first. Alright, to wrap this all up, Bones is an insanely well-rounded artist that has turned out a shit ton of music these past few years, and as much as I'd really love to, there's really no way I could ever go over every one of his projects in one video, so I will probably be making a part two of this if you enjoyed it, if not fuck me I guess. Really quick, I am going to list my favorite song off of each project, going back to Creep, just so you have a quick list of what I think are really, really fucking good songs. Here's that list now, and again, I could talk about this subject for a good week, so I might as well cut myself off at some point. Hopefully you learned a bit about the artist and what you want to try out from him. If you did, enjoy what you listen to. Welcome to the family. If not, that's cool. He's not for everyone. Thanks for watching. Sash.